And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the Crown Guard Vaults. We're going to be trying the new landmark, Shadow Isles landmark here in Monuments of Power expansion, Vaults of Helia. So we're going to be playing uh, this new this new one and we're going to be playing it with Tiana, Crown Guard at the top end. That's our namesake there, the Crown Guard Vaults. So Vaults of Helia says that the rounds start kill your most expensive ally to summon an ally from your deck that costs one more. So we're going to have um, a pretty big curve here going all the way from one to eight. And uh, wherever we're at on the curve, we're going to have the Vaults of Helia be able to kill the ally and get a new one in that costs one more. So with that, like our, our deck, we're going to be playing Lucian and Callista because both Lucian and Callista are champions that want to see a lot of allies die. And so Vault, you know, the Vaults of Helia will, will, uh, Helia will help uh, that happen with having allies die. Um, we're going to be playing Senna in here with our Lucian. We have lots of ways to kill our own Senna to be able to level up Lucian as well. We can go Glimpse Beyond on a Senna. We can go Single Combat on a Senna or even Chronicler of Ruin on a Senna. Chronicler of Ruin, I think, is going to be a really important card in this deck. Because it's gonna be, it's this like this should be a pretty nice card. Like we can use Chronicler of Ruin with Grizzled Ranger, um, and get another loyal Badger Bear. But then also it works great with like Rekindler and Tiana Crown Guard. Because like our Vaults of Helia will put, like let's say Vaults of Helia sacrifices Genevieve and puts in Rekindler. Well, that doesn't take any of our mana. Like that happens at the round start, but then that doesn't use any of our mana. So then after that happens and Rekindler is put into play. Then we can use our mana and play Chronicler of Ruin, destroy the Rekindler, get a new one, and get a bunch of champions that way. Or same thing, like, you know, it kills Rekindler, we get Tiana, we can then attack with Tiana, um, because, you know, it would rally, and then afterwards, then we can still have our mana, so we can Chronicler, Tiana, rally again, that kind of stuff. So I'm pretty excited about Chronicler of Ruin with these top end cards, with the Vaults of Helia, like just that whole interaction. Pretty excited about that. Um, even have an Egghead Researcher in here, another new card, also a good one with Chronicler of Ruin, because it's a summon ability. So we play this, it's summoned, we create a dragon follower in hand, so we should have some random dragons also. Alright, so anyway, let's get to the games, let's play some Crown Guard Vaults. We're going to be taking it right on over to Ranked as we're trying out brand new stuff. We'll see how this goes. Our curve is really high, um, but it should be a lot of fun. All right, what do we want to keep? We're gonna, we're gonna keep Lucian. That's the only card that I'm like really set on keeping. Um, yeah, I think that's the only one we're gonna keep. Oh, I like this hand a little better. Now I would like to have single combats. Like I'd rather have single combat than Egghead Researcher, but um, I'm glad that we were able to get those other things in. And we do not want to make this trade, especially before we have our champions in play. We want these champions in play and be able to see the allies die. We'll wait till afterwards. Push back the darkness. All right, got to see the ally die. Now, I'm going to go Senna instead of Callista. They're both in the field. quick attack with the attacking. Vessel small, but she ain't lacking courage. Ah, well, that's unfortunately going to take down Lucian. Set the hooks. That's just the way it is. And nothing we can do about that. The blessed isles live through me. Alright, so we do get to go right to attacks before they're able to get anything else here, and we could do yeah, like that's gonna be a lot of damage if they don't block. That's a lot of damage. I kind of feel like getting the Vaults of Helia in play right now. I don't know between Senna and Callista which one it's killing. We'll 
looks like it's Senna. that's targeting the Grizzled Ranger, yep. This is not ideal. They're gonna be able to still just challenge both my units, kill them both. Have their Maokai out doing stuff. So we'll get the 3-4, so the 3-4 will bring along another 4 drop. I hope another Grizzled Ranger. Cool. Alright, that's good. Alright, let's mess some folks up. The more we learn, the less we fear. Darn. I was really hoping to get the, the 5 mana challenge dragon. Oh, come on. They had a very good hand. I'm something of an aspiring trichologist. <laughs> no, Screeching Dragon, I need you the last turn to take down this Maokai. Oh, uh, I need those switched. I'm what it's not, not having any luck. No place for the Needed those switched. So I can play the Empyreon, and then it, it dies to the vaults, and then bring, puts in Tiana, and we would rally, but that would happen at the next round start, where we would already have the attack token. So that doesn't honestly help us. This game had so much promise, but they they had a they had a great hand. You know, sometimes you just got to give it up to your opponent. Really had just an ideal hand. And now our deck is obliterated, and the game is over. Very close. Still, I don't know. That was. That's gonna be really rough for us. It's tough for us to win. Hello. Um, I could see keeping single combat. Uh, I'm not a fan of Nopify. I don't think that there are enough targets in the format for it to be played over other options that you have. Um, you can, of course, you know, you can devise situations where Nobify will be very good, but I just think that just in general, um, you know, like if we would have had it like that last game, it would have done nothing. I mean, I guess it could have maybe countered the Vile Feast, other than the only card it countered. I just don't think that, that there are enough enough targets for it to be uh, something that you want to put in deck. That can obviously change. You know, metagames can change and stuff like that. But I'm just not a fan of it. Yeah, I guess Imper... Yeah, I mean, I guess two swings with Imperion, but yeah, just, I don't see that. I don't didn't see that working, but yeah, maybe I guess theoretically, I guess it could have worked. 
last game. Burn away the shadows. I suppose theoretically it could have worked. This looks like a Soraka deck with no Soraka. This is or a Tom Kench deck with no Tom Kench. Doesn't it? Alright, going pretty greedy because if they have, like with this line, Okay, because I'd say if they have Pill Cascade and they Pill Cascade their 2 4, then it would kill my Lucian. But we'd have leveled up Lucian to go along with our Rekindler. Even in that worst case scenario. Probably let them challenge first. Yeah, that could that could be that could be them trying to make a Tom a Tom Kench Soraka deck that just didn't have the wild cards or shards for them, and they're just playing like Misfortune instead. That could be a thing. All right, Lucian down, but Lucian is leveled up for our Rekindler, so not so bad. Could be worse. All right, let's mess some folks up. Love having the Chronicler of Ruin to be able to uh, bring back another Lucian, and also that would Rally as well, doing that um, if we don't have the attack token, because we'd have the first Lucian in play. So that could be pretty cool. Keep up, keep up. Here we go. Yeah, Southern Smoke. Question is, will they ever add a feature that allow us to add recent opponents like other card games do? Yeah, as like friends. I would not, yeah, I would, yeah, I would think so. They're continually adding more and more things to the game and, and including like the, the friends list feature in this game is not that old just in general. And so yeah, I bet that that's something um, that would be coming along in yeah, the future. You don't want to cross me. That'd make a lot of sense. One candle for every yeah, because they're just about to start with like game history now. No pray, no pay. Through the coral. And if any of our things die, we get to attack again. So if they kill the one two, we get to attack again. My kind of party. Which looks like they are gonna kill the one two. Which they probably should not be killing the one two. Made choices. Yeah, they should not be making that block. They may not realize what's gonna happen. They should not be making that block. Because they're going to just attack here, and then it's going to be our our turn to attack. We get to just attack again. And then afterwards, you know, we can Chronicler. Yeah, no, it did. Yeah, game's still growing. Still adding in a lot of, um, you know, elements each, each little patch update. Still growing. We live here. Now we get to attack again. And I bet they're regretting blocking that one too, but you gotta learn. Got to learn. So even if they stay alive from this somehow, then we go Chronicler.
Don't get ahead of yourself. Wow. Okay. So we are going to um, single combat here. So that will die. So then we'll get we'll be able to rally. So we'll get an additional attack. Okay, they're not dead yet. Virtue guides me. Not dead yet. But playing the Radiant Guardian heal our Nexus a little bit. Set Radiant Guardian's health. Pablo. Justice will be served. My new Radiant Guardian. And there we go. GG's. Alright, one and one. They fought well. Alright, we got a great test here. Our curve's super high. I'll be a little surprised if we can uh, get this. We're going to need to gonna need to find Radiant Guardian. Um, Senna dies super easily. Two health for three mana. Grizzled Ranger. Grizzled Ranger like could definitely be a keep. Also dies fairly easily. Not good against Misfortune. Let's just try some new cards. There we go. See, I used an emote. There we go. Hey, opponent Braum waved back. <clears throat> that might be the first time I've Push ever Braum waved somebody at the beginning of a game. Doesn't it always just seem like they have the best card they can have? Every game? Doesn't it seem like that? So it's like, alright, what's... You know? We got one drop into Mega Rain. Into Misfortune. Just no matter what version of Bilgewater Noxus you're playing. Maybe that, that's just what happens when every single card you have is incredibly good. There's no such thing as a bad card in, in these decks, in the Bilgewater Noxus decks, and so um, there's n like not even situational cards, right? Like all their cards are just great, and so that's what it just feels like. Attack. I don't like that. That probably probably means another Mega Rain, and I don't like that. Fresh out of mercy. I'll just kill Misfortune. So, there's a kill in the air. Time for 
So we're down to four. Stand and fight. Hell of a day. <laughs> it's like Bilgewater and Noxus has been the best region combination for you know for a while now and yet they just keep on nerfing Tabasia cards. That's all they do. They're like, alright, well we're gonna just nerf War Chefs and nerf Genevieve Elmhart. And it's like, what? <laughs> You know, that was that was just a a game of like you know, thinking what's like the best they can have. Well, Alright, well they had it. Alright, well it's not Bilgewater Noxus, so we have a shot. We can win. It's possible. Maybe not with this hand. This is gonna be really interesting to see how good this uh mm. You know, Helia card is. You know, them just playing like Trundle, then Trindamir, then Atrocity. Those are the three cards I'm scared of. Trundle, Trindamir, and Atrocity. There's a chill in the air. Alright, we got a chill in the air. Burn away the shadows. Last turn. Don't need to play anything. Yeah, yeah. No trundle, no trundle, no trundle. Please, no trundle. Okay, not a trundle. I'll take not a trundle. Oh no. I don't like that though. I want my two cards. But at least it's not a trundle. So I can't complain too much. It's like they have seven cards in hand, I got six cards in hand. Alright, now we have a champion dead for Rekindler, so that's that is important. attack. Alright, come on, Grizzled Ranger. Grizzled Ranger. Yeah. Alright, let's mess some folks up. Time to get rowdy. Sorry, excuse me. I'm gonna just. I think I just pass turn here. I don't want my Genevieve Elmhart to die. I want to make sure that it's it's gonna be alive and that we get the rekindler. I don't want anything to happen there. For the thrill of battle. Oh God, we are battle. We each died, then found hope. So that's the first thing dead. Now we do have the attack token this turn, so the whole rally thing isn't as impressive. But that's just the way it is. But how do we get through Trindamir? Like, do I just simply attack with everything? You got. So we've only had one thing die for Lucian so far. Just 
let this happen. It's like atrocity. Like I, I you know, can keep defense against atrocity with concerted strike. We need to level these things up. All right, so this will have the egghead thing die first. And that's still alive. Now we strike here. Oh, that doesn't... Oh yeah, yeah, because then the avalanche kills us. I was like, that doesn't kill that? Right, the avalanche kills us, right? That's that's what I was thinking. Okay. So now the the badger bear is still the thing that costs the most. Yeah, so I don't I guess I just don't even need to play the fleet feather tracker, do I? No, we can wait on fleet feather tracker. Alright, come on, Grizzled Ranger. So we get to rally, right? Like we'll get the attack token now. But unfortunately, they have priority first. So many years, so much mm. years. Not Grizzle Ranger. So like they have to have like another like sweeper, which they do. But we still have the attack token, so we can. So I could go Radiant Guardian plus Chronicler of Ruin. I think I I prefer Fleet Feather Tracker plus this eclipsed dragon, create a random dragon and a celestial follower in hand. There's a chance we get the zero mana or one mana celestial follower. <laughs> okay, not quite. So that's pretty sweet. So Egghead researcher, Egghead researcher that two mana one three created this eclipse dragon which created the infinite mind splitter and golden sister. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. GG's. That's game. That was a cool game. That was a good game. Oh no, Bilgewater Noxus. Are we going to be 0 and 7 today against Bilgewater Noxus? Or are we going to be able to win? We'll keep Callista. Mull the rest. Remember when Genevieve Elmhart was a 5-5? Those were some good times. There's plenty of killing left. But now they just get one mana three threes. Talking without me. And it's super fair. Hard to get rich. All that trades with all of my three and four mana cards. They're one mana cards. Making the dead deader. My gun does the talking. Alright, go do the talking, Senna. We do have Grizzled Ranger plus Chronicler of Ruin. I guess we just have to block, though. So with our life total. Just have to block. Fortunately, don't have time for Grizzled Ranger plus Chronicler of Ruin, even though that's such a cool combo. Just don't have time. We, we shall pierce their treasonous ass. Master, your demons. Dragons, such fascinating creatures. Screeching dragon. 
We still have the Chronicler of Ruin plus Egghead Researcher combo. That's also a cool one. Ooh. And Radiant Guardian can be good. Man, remember Radiant Guardian was a 5-5? Man, yeah, they just keep on nerfing everything in Demacia. And they're like, nah, Bilgewater Noxus is cool. Let's just keep nerfing Demacia. Leave them Get some more dragons. Fused Firebrand. I like them having house spiders. I hope they just have a whole bunch of house spiders, because we can we can defeat House Spider. We have the ability to defeat House Spider. I want to make it more difficult for Swain to level up. Some eggheads. Alright, not looking too, too bad. Follow my lead. Their pride will cost them. So I'm not going to be attacking twice with this Genevieve Elm Heart. We don't really need to be doing the whole scout thing. All right, not going to let them cast a whole bunch of Noxian Guillotines. So Noxian Guillotine will fizzle now. And we just gotta hope no Riptide Rex or Leviathan. No no 8 mana card, please. Just keep playing small stuff. We can deal with small stuff. Never lost a fair game. Blue as the serpentine. Okay. I guess that counts as small stuff. Um, I don't get to double spell with cool things. So if I play Vault of Helia, we have the four mana Chronicler of Ruin. I'm something of an aspiring trichologist. So we'll turn Chronicler of Ruin into Radiant Guardian. That sounds exciting. Virtue guides me. Justice will be served. All right, before they play uh, Riptide Rex, let's hurry up and gain eight. All right, let's see what this does. So we can still Chronicler of Ruin one of these. Um... Okay, cool. They didn't kill my. Uh, they didn't kill my Radiant Guardian. So let's go Chronicler of Ruin on a Radiant Guardian to reset it. Um, and then of course we're going to be sacrificing one Radiant Guardian to put a Genevieve into play. Yeah, we'll do that with the other one. Then Genevieve will put Rekindler into play. Okay. I suppose that could be scary. I fight for the fallen. I guess I don't have I guess getting Rekindler is not that good. Yeah, I need space, oh well. 
The Kindler will just be a 4-4 four, four for now, but it's, it's just going to be a, a vessel to put Tiana into play next turn. We burn, then kindle anew. Take two. They kill my rekindler. We can take four. Oh. This is pretty crazy, us being able to survive some Riptide Rexes. So if I play a Fused Firebrand, I don't know which one of these... Oh, I don't have a six mana card to, to sacrifice anymore. Let's play this egghead thing, see what we get. Whoa. I've whipped up something special. Is it a dragon? So we don't have a six drop to get. I wonder if it just sacrifices my two drop and gets a three. No, it just does nothing. That would have been cool. Yeah, this is gonna be this is a real good win if we get to defeat Bilgewater Noxus. Cadrogen the Infernal. Making them disappear. They are too scared of this dragon. I'd be scared of that thing too. Look at that thing. Challenging here. I want to keep these things alive. I don't really want their 7 4 to block my 7 7. If only I didn't use all my Chronicler of Ruins and we could Chronicler of Ruin this thing and grow our dragons even more. G Gs. And there we go. That's game. That's a good win. We had a couple of great wins there, games four and five. A couple awesome games. All right, so that's the Crown Guard of Vault. We got to see some cool stuff from Vaults of Helia. They're doing that whole round start, uh, kill your most expensive ally thing. That was pretty cool. You know, we got to uh, go find some uh, Radiant Guardians with that that last game. You know, killing Chronicler, Chronicler of Ruin, put in Radiant Guardian. That felt good, beating a Bilgewater Noxus first time all day, uh, beating that deck. Um, Lots of power at the top end. One card that I would have to say that I was super impressed by was this Egghead Researcher. That card looked awesome, creating those random dragons. We got some really cool dragons with this card. Another way to build this deck that we actually thought about, instead of playing Lucian and Senna, like, uh, definitely thought about this, but I thought it would just kind of mess up our curve too much. But, like, instead of playing Lucian and Senna, and then, like, Genevieve Radiant, like, Radiant Guardian, like, instead of playing those... Like you can play, you can go dragons with this. Like you can go like Shivana and um, and just just play some dragons and uh, you know like screeching dragon. Play like a lookout that can also help be like something that you put into play and rally and you know play like an an infernal at the top end that you can have Tiana Crown Guard go put in infernal. So like it, it makes your curve even a lot higher. You maybe have to like cut back on Chronicler of Ruins at that point because now you need things that, that cost one, two, and three more. Um, like you probably have to do that and you know play like Dragon Lieutenants or um, you know maybe you just play uh, some Vanguard Redeemers at that point. Uh, you know get get something a little a little cheaper because you probably can't have three fours. Um, 
But that's another option for this kind of deck if you want to um, want to go dragon style. Yeah, I'd probably rec you know recommend going like this if you want to do that. Still keep like one radiant guardian in there. Um, you know, and you can even split those two and two if you want. So that's that's another option. Um, all right, but that's the crown guard vaults. Got some cool stuff with this one. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. What have you been playing uh, with the new set? What do you want to see on stream? What kind of cool new decks do you want to see? What do you want me to build? Let me know. Leave those comments. Give me those suggestions and I'll make them. All right, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.